Now, Jeff Bezos is to step down as chief executive of Amazon, the company he founded nearly 30 years ago. He's going to be replaced by a senior Amazon executive, Andy Jassy, but he will become executive chairman. Sarah Miller is from the anti-monopoly group American Economic Liberties Project. I think one thing to note, which I'm sure your viewers are aware of, is that Amazon is under increasing legal and regulatory scrutiny here in the U.S. US. There are two antitrust investigations, at least, that are ongoing. Uh, there's a, a powerful union drive um, uh, happening in Alabama right now for the first time that uh, we hope will be successful. So I think as, as attitudes are changing here in Washington, and there will be more scrutiny on Amazon as a corporation, its practices in the marketplace towards competitors, and the way that it treats its workers, uh, better for someone else to be in the hot seat. Not that uh, Jeff Bezos can't be called to, to testify uh, or engage with policymakers in other ways, but he really doesn't like to serve that role. Um, you might remember last summer, he was called to testify in front of Congress, and he resisted strongly trying to send subordinates, trying to wriggle out of it, was really quite petulant before finally agreeing to do so. So part of it, I think, is to shift uh, those responsibilities to somebody else and try to launder his reputation, which is kind of increasingly, uh, I would say, uh, problematic. Sarah Miller.